lonely. I am so lonely. I have nobody to call my own. Welcome back, everyone. Today is a dark day for Smudge. The scene that Rachel's going to be drawing today is the night that Smudge returns home from the vet, aka the Cutters. He's sitting at a sliding glass door with his cone of shame and his little bandaged bottom. Smudge is having some regrets in this moment. His owners are keeping him inside because they're afraid he might run away because he's upset about getting fixed. Smudge really wishes he could go and visit his friend Rusty. But then he remembers that Rusty doesn't live next to him anymore. He doesn't even know where Rusty is. In the wild? With a clan of cats? What does that even mean? The concept is so foreign from kitty pet life that Smudge can't even fathom where or what Rusty could be doing. Smudge doesn't mind that his owners fixed him. He still loves them. But he did not enjoy the trip in the claustrophobic crate, or how sick the ride to the vet made him feel. The cold tables, the strange medicine, it's a blur to him now. And to think, the procedure only took two minutes. Within those two minutes, several doors had closed to Smudge. He would never reproduce, never have kids of his own. Uh, he didn't mind. He grew up as the only kid in his litter. So, he was used to being alone. He always tried to make friends, but they always ended up pushing him away. Was Smudge too needy? Did he demand too much energy? Smudge had thought that finally when he met his neighbor Rusty, that he was going to be a constant in his life. Someone to fill the days with, to be his friend and pal. But Rusty too had left him. Smudge considered a lot of things that night as he stared with a sour taste in his mouth at his full bowl of kibble. At last, Smudge concluded that despite everything looking so down, he would make the best of it. He'd put on a happy face and continue living life to the fullest. He wasn't going to become a lazy lump like Henry. He was going to be friendly, visit all of his neighbors, and spend his days making other cats smile. I hope you all enjoyed today's speed paint. I took a little creative liberty in the storytelling of this one, because there's really no book facts on how Smudge felt after his trip to the vet. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below if you think, like I said, Smudge was an only child. The only kid born into his litter. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Alright guys, bye bye